What's up guys, Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and today I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to trim your bonsai trees. Alright, so I have two trees behind me and they both look like they could use some pruning. But one of them is ready to be pruned and the other one is not. So if we look, if we take a closer look at this rain tree, um, you can see how the new shoots are all still green. So you always want to wait until the new growth has hardened off, like on this Vitex. So all the new growth has hardened off, which the tree now shows me that it's safe for me to go in and prune it back into shape. All right, so this rain tree has just been defoliated about two weeks ago and it's just coming back now. So now the tree is actively growing and that's why it's still green and hasn't hardened off yet. So if we were to go and trim the tree back into shape, we would tell the tree not to grow. And so the tree gets shocked and confused. And then it's, once it starts to grow again, and we're trimming it back immediately again, we again tell the tree not to grow. And if we do this over and over again, we get the tree, uh, the tree starts to get really, really weak, and then we cannot uh, transform it into a bonsai. So we have to make sure that our bonsais are really strong and healthy in order to apply our techniques. All right, so this is my Vitex tree, which I've had in my collection for, give or take about 10 years and this style into a windswept design, even though you, you might not be able to tell right now. But this is what we have to do. We have to let our trees grow out and then trim them back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I bring this tree back into shape. This is the back of the Vitex, and as you can see, the windswept goes into this direction. But this branch goes into the opposite direction. So I'm gonna take my concave cutter and cut this branch back. And then this next branch that I have here um, this has grown up too far and I also want it to grow into this direction. So I could either use wire and wire the branch or I could just cut it right here and apply directional pruning. So I'm leaving the last leaf which is pointing into this direction and then the next branch that's going to come out behind this leaf is also going to grow into that direction. When we uh, go ahead and prune our trees we come across sections such as this one. So there's four branches growing out of the exact same spot. And I'm going to have to go ahead and eliminate three branches because if I leave all four branches, it's going to get too thick here and it's going to create like a bulge. And then I'm going to have to remove the branch completely because this looks really ugly. So I remove the two branches that grow the strongest, which are these two. And again, I use my concave cutter for this job. And then this branch is growing in the wrong direction. So I'm also going to remove this one which leaves me with this branch, which is growing into this direction of the windswept. This branch here is another perfect example. So as you can see, this branch has a lot of movement and then this branch grows straight up towards the sky. And this is why I really love directional pruning because I can cut it here and just leave that last leaf to grow into that direction. And so I don't have to keep rewiring the same tree. I can just start to apply directional pruning because as this will start to grow into this direction, I'm creating a lot of natural movement, which makes the tree at the end look a lot more natural. So this is what the tree looks like after I finish pruning it. So keep in mind that you always want to make sure that you let your uh, new growth hard enough before you go ahead and prune it. And you can prune the trees back quite hard because once they start to grow again, they start to fill into that shape that you then want. And then just let it grow out again until the new growth hardens off again. Keep in mind that this varies slightly from uh, climate as well as to species. Um, if you guys have any more questions, 
please leave them below, below in the comments and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you guys next time.